Hello everyone, it's Natalie. Sorry you didn't see my weight loss update yesterday. I've been having major problems with storage on my phone. My phone did all this update and all my memory went gone. It's been a whole fiasco. I gotta tell you, I got Samsung and you know, they're doing all this 5G updates or something and I couldn't post the video and I was deleting all my apps on my phone, even YouTube. I delete all my apps. I deleted all my pictures, all my videos and still had no memory to post that video. And in that process, I deleted the video. Well, kind of figured out something. It was storing my videos on the memory card that's on my phone, which is very small. Somehow it switched itself over to doing that. Well, that was one of my problems. I don't know. I had to install Marco Polo to my family. No, we ain't doing Marco Polo anymore, taking all my storage, but that wasn't it either. Girl just got to get a real camera. I said I'd buy one if I, you know, hit my goal weight. Well, I'm not there yet. <laughs> but it looks like I might be buying one sooner or later. Or I kind of figured it out now. So, just to let you know, I did not weigh on Thursday. So that video that you would have got on Friday wouldn't have had a weight. And you're not getting a weight today either. I stayed keto for Thanksgiving. Yes, I did. I'm also wearing this because I want to film a how to make turkey bone broth video for you. And my polka dotted one's in the wash. So, but anyways, I did not weigh on Thursday because Shark Week, my aunt came to visit, you know, Thanksgiving morning. And I never weigh for three days when that happens because it will be up, it will be down, it will be all over the place. And I'm already in a bad mood. And this one is a doozy. I have even broke out. What was that? Oh, my dishwasher. I even broke out. I haven't had this many zits since I was a teenager. I think it was the egg fast, getting back strict to keto. All my face demons are coming out and rearing their ugly heads, trying to clean out my body. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, but it's a doozy. So I'm not making excuses for it. I'm just saying I'm not going to do it. And I will not wait until Monday. I stayed keto for Thanksgiving, but I overate on keto, keto foods on Thanksgiving and yesterday too. Partly because it's Shark Week, but partly because I always do that on the holidays. I make sure I stay keto, but I eat what I want and I don't track it. You hear what I'm saying? So, but. Got an NSV for you today. I put on my size 10s that been fitting me snugly, but perfectly, but snugly, right? They got a little stretch to them and they were snug. And now I can pull them out. I'm down a size. I think I might be a size eight now. I haven't been single digits in probably 15 years. I'm excited. I'm excited. Maybe longer. No, not longer. But it, I don't know, anywhere from 12 to 15 years, I haven't seen a single digit pair of jeans in my closet ever in that amount of time. So I'm so excited. I know if I went and bought eights right now, I could wear them. And that is amazing. I do suggest when you're losing weight, this is what I do. Like I even have 14s I can still wear. Because, you know, every brand is cut differently. Every style of jean is cut differently. So I like to get stretchy ones. And I like to size down a size or two. So I might even try on a six. <laughs> yeah, it'll be snug and you know what I mean? But then as I lose, I'm still wearing that same pair of jeans. I got a pair of 14s. Yeah, yeah. Got a saggy butt in that. And if you're hearing that... That's my security camera because my husband's hanging up uh, Christmas lights right now. And uh, he didn't turn off his notifications. So it's going to be going crazy and driving me crazy. Yay. But anyways, that's what I do. I usually size down a size or two when I'm buying new pants. 
you know, to where I can wear them and it don't give me, you know, that camel toe action. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> don't do that. But to where I can wear them and it's not killing me, but they don't really fit completely correctly. You know what I'm saying? And that way as I lose, I'm not wasting all this money on pants. You know, because you can waste a lot of money. I started at a size 20. 20, really. Or some 18s, but mostly 20s. You know, so I've lost half my size plus another size now. So that's awesome. Awesome. That is an NSV. I wanted to make sure I got in here and posted this video for you today. So you don't think I'm ghosting you again. Because I'm not. Those haters are never going to make me stop. Okay, the only thing that makes me stop is myself getting in my head and I've been trying everything and anything to make sure that don't happen. If you don't follow me on Facebook, I suggest you do. Natalie loves keto because y'all haven't been seeing me here on YouTube, but I'm on there all day long. Okay, posting things. I like to post a lot of motivational music. That are like my anthems that I can't do here on YouTube because of copyright. You think the stars would want the, you know, notoriety, but whatever YouTube. But, you know, like Sia has a lot of songs that are very motivational to me. Like The Greatest, Alive. The Greatest and Alive are two different songs, even though they pretty much have similar words to it. And uh, pink, uh, perfect is a good one. No one's perfect, right? But anyways, I post things like that, what I eat, what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, all the time on Facebook now. Never did before a lot. I did more on YouTube than Facebook. It's the opposite right now because it's easier to do. You know, I don't have to show my face all the time. So if I'm feeling icky... Like I am right now with the face demons. I don't have to get on there. <laughs> Just keeping it real for you. But I'm on here for you today. Put a little concealer on that. But boy, that's a painful one. It's not fair. It's not fair. Hormones. You know, that's what it is. You're going to experience that on keto. You are. It's not a bad thing. It means your body's trying to regulate and get rid of the, you know, the toxins out of your body. You know, even though I pretty much maintain my weight through the summer, I've had some cheats, right? And I've had some bad choices, like just eating keto treats all day and stuff. So I'm trying to expel that through my body right now. That's what I think is going on. But I definitely will do a weigh-in on Monday. Worried to what it's going to be, but whatever it is, is whatever it is. I know my pant size is going down. you got to keep that in mind. Just because the scale isn't moving or maybe even went up a little bit. What's your size? How's your pants fitting? How's your shirts fitting? You know, body composition is totally different than weight. And so NSVs means non-scale victories are the most important to me. Not with the number on the scale. It is, although I care about that too, <laughs> you know, I don't get it twisted. I do. I care about that too. I have a goal. I want to lose 100 pounds. That's 141 and I'm trying to get there. You know, I'm not going to make it by January 1st. That's cool. You know, I know I'm not going to make it by January 1st because those last 10 are going to be difficult. Very, very difficult. Actually, these last 20, you know, I the last weight I had was 164.6, and that was, I think, Wednesday or Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And that was Shark Reek wearing its ugly head, plus I overate on total carbs. I watch my net carbs like a hawk, but I also keep an eye on my total carbs. I try not to go over 30, and I think that the day before I had like 60 total carbs, and that will affect me. It might you. So if you're struggling to lose weight, you need to start paying attention to both carbs, okay? Your net and your total. I'm not saying I'm not going to go, you know, 60 total carbs some days because I'm going to have treats. Keto treats is what's going to drive up your total carbs. 
Whole Foods won't. Okay. But I'm saying if I do that, I know I'm going to see, you know, a fluctuation on the scale. And not in my favor. <laughs> you know, both carbs matter. I know, kind of jumping, jumping all over the place, but I just want to get this film for you. Get in here and say, I haven't ghosted you. I love you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell below so you're notified when I next post. And next video to you will be turkey bone broth. And don't forget, tomorrow Sunday, I'll have a quick tip Sunday. I just got to figure out what that tip will be. <laughs> I got tons of tips, and I kind of give them all the time. So if you see repeats, that's okay in my book. <laughs> Anyways, any in video, if you haven't made them, can be hard. If you don't notice. Here. And dog is barking at my husband. Yay! All right, I will see you Tuesday. I'll do a weigh-in on Monday, and we'll see where we're at. Because I haven't been tracking either. I didn't track on Thanksgiving. I didn't track yesterday on Friday, and today is Saturday, and I haven't tracked. Uh, nope. I need to get back to strict tracking, so I'll actually start that on Sunday. You know, I just kind of threw caution to the wind when it comes to the holiday, but I still stay keto. Lazy keto, but I still stay keto. All right. Bye. I bring some mistletoe with me. Christmas is waiting for you It'll never start without you Never start without you Christmas is all about you I see everywhere around The fairies of December yeah.